Hey, how you doing? This is Coach Mark, and we are reading from my new book, Repeat After Me. We are at day 28. Now, if you want to follow along, all you have to do is go to www.repeataftermebook.com, and you can download this book for absolutely free. All you're going to do is put in your information. Once you do that, it's going to take you to the thank you screen, and it will send you an email coming from me. You click on the link to download it. Now, if you have one of those older Android phones that you probably should have got rid of like five years ago, you may have some issues. So shoot me an email at coachmarkspeaks at gmail.com, and I will email you a PDF version of the book. All right? So now that I got that underway, we're day 28. Day 28 is mentoring, all right? So the quote that we're going to start day 28 is, mentoring is a brain to pick, an ear to listen, and a push in the right direction. And that's John C. Crosby. The second quote is, the delicate balance of mentoring someone is not creating them in your own image, but giving them the opportunity to create themselves. And that's from the great Steven Spielberg, okay? So the affirmation and why do we say affirmations is because we're trying to reprogram our subconscious all right so the affirmation for today is i am respected for the talents i possess so i give back by mentoring others someone asking me to be a mentor is proof that my light is shining brightly the satisfaction in stepping up to mentor someone on his or her journey means that I learn from this person as well. As I teach, I learn about myself, my voice in the world, and what I have to share from my deepest self. I can tell you this. After a year of me coaching people, and I have a lot of my listeners and callers call into me uh, every single week, and I mentor like probably about 10 or 20 different people, I learn the most from the people that I mentor. So mentoring doesn't have to be just a one, a one direction thing where you're just pouring into somebody else. I promise you this, if you take up the time to mentor someone, you will learn a lot from that person that you're mentoring, all right? So the lesson, the lesson for today is it's always good to have a mentor and to be a mentor to someone else. The, this kind of give and takes helps you view the world from different perspectives. I just talked about that. You gain by mentoring as well. So it's not just you giving, but you also gain as well. In teaching, of course, we learn. By sharing knowledge with another person and coaching this person to take positive action, you see the value of what you know and how that can affect real lives. You want to make change in this world? You want to help people? Find somebody to mentor. Find somebody that you can pour into, you can pour all your knowledge into. And I can tell you this, if you've been living on this earth for any period of time, you have some knowledge to pour into people. Even if you've made a bunch of mistakes, guess what? All the lessons that you learn from those mistakes, you can pour that into somebody else to help them to not make those mistakes as well. So the question yourself section, what do you know that no one else seems to know? What special skills do you have that could assist someone else in accomplishing their goals? How could you teach a person you are mentoring? All right. Then we have the take action section, which is call up a faith based or youth organization to offer mentoring in your community. Explain to the organization's office staff that you have special accounting skills, speaking skills or computer skills that you can offer. Inquire about the organization's outreach programs already in place. See if there's a good fit to volunteer as a mentor with any of those programs. Then we have repeat to yourself. That's where you're going to create today's affirmation in your own words based on everything that we've learned so far. And the final section is Coach Mark's Wow or Words of Wisdom. In life, we should always have one hand stretched up and one hand stretched down. This creates the balance needed to not only help us to bring someone to another level, but also allows us to go to another level as well. By having both hands stretching up or hanging down, we become unbalanced and unstable. Thank you very much and until tomorrow.